There are two low frequency oscillators available in the upper right hand corner of the UltraBeat instrument. They are made available as modulation sources in the mod menus of many of UltraBeat's parameters. LFO1 and LFO2 have an identical set of parameters, but can be modified and utilized completely separate from one another. Clicking either the 1 or 2 buttons in the LFO section selects which LFO you are modifying. Each LFO also contains its own power indicator. The shape of the LFO is determined by the waveform selection slider under the graphic representation of the final waveform appearance. The rate, or speed of the LFO, can either be set independent of your project by selecting the free option, or it can be slaved to your project's tempo by selecting the sync option. A ramp control allows you to dictate whether your LFO signal is faded into or out of. Turning it to the right increases the attack time, creating a fade in, where turning it to the left creates a fade out by shortening the decay. The cycle knob gives you a very non-typical option for an LFO by allowing you to dictate how many times the LFO cycles through the wavelength dictated by the rate. Anything greater than 100 causes the LFO to cycle indefinitely like a normal oscillator, where anything less than 100 turns off the LFO after that number of cycles through the waveform. This allows you to truncate the effects of modulating any given signal.